took the, the, the scene by storm, honestly. But oh my! Yeah, and now the paranoia gets queued up after the first blood for Apoth. And actually, this is going to look right okay to slow things down and try to get some more defenders in. So even though the Omen will lose their life, Reform is able to keep things relatively traded. And on top of that, it actually keeps the spike contested from being landed thanks to all the utility coming in. Nice follow-up from Com. This is all outside the... Don't really have much left. I mean, all their flashes are gone at this point, so just have to rely on gunplay. And Gangsta able to pick out Boostio. Stun comes in, though. It's going to catch both of them. Allows Reform to get into the site. And they're also pinching in from Garage right now. Ziff trying to fight back as best he can. Gets a couple. Has a 1v1. Almost oh. pulls that one out from underneath EG. But John actually still making a pretty heavy rotation towards A-side. And yeah, the Guiding Light will let them know that there's at least one person playing aggressive sewers, but not much more than that. Now, Scuba will get the entry, and they know that at least one is sewers, and they're still going to take this site. Timing here could be good for Dragomo, but no. I don't want to do too much. Frosty will follow up. So now it's on to Apoth, onto the site with Perform, trying to hold this for Evil Geniuses. And in this dark cover, they're actually contesting for a lot longer than you normally expect. Apoth maybe gets the double, but unfortunately could not find the aim after the flash came through to assist them. So it's on to Boostia. Headhunter, and that will be a 1v3, and, well, Gangsta on the outside of the site will get the angle needed to up. Difficult angle, but he's able to get the first. That timing's unreal. Fault line was there, and yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say, and then he gets the angle over towards Garage as well. Good focus coming through. Apoth's still a part of the defensive consideration, and it'll only be Bustio who falls as Evil Geniuses dominate the early. Garage push as well, and so now they have a 4-on-2. Only thing going for nice is that they have spike possession and still some time on the clock, but they're down, oh. and it's only going to get worse. And Giacomo fits his shot in through. That read in the last round to at least make the bonus difficult uh, on PK was it was great. And so Bustio is going to be the first check over towards a lobby, and, well, he got two oh. range the, an impressive shot opens the door. Well, absolutely, that's big. He wasn't able to rendezvous out. Now, Giacomo has already made the rotation. He's already getting support wells from Reformed, and he's able to hit his opening shot as well. So this attack Unreal. is being slowed down. He gets that up before running Thunder Strikes. They're slowing this push down big time. But the trade is still there, and now you've got a rifle collected for Frosty. Oh my. Are out trailable. It's going to be down to EG. Can you once again cleanly get through, or will it be Knights with a potential thrifty? First shot missing from the low ground, but Gangsta follows up, and yeah, the rifle collected ends up being the difference maker. Frosty for two. Which allows him to anchor C essentially, but doesn't leave some gaps here, which B being one of them, and this spike will get planted dead center, nor will it. Oh. Great shutdown from Kombustio chimes in, but it's a, it's a bloodbath. Three on three. 30 seconds. Have to get their way through and talk about, oh, oh, he gets, gets the shorty to sing a song for him. The spike does get planted, but the problem is EG has the ability to pinch this from Garage. That will work out nicely. Ziff can only do, oh, maybe more than enough as he gets the first two needed. But the last from Apoth on the long pinch will now come on his lonesome. Here comes the hit very quickly for Knight. And oh. has held the trigger discipline for a double in the corner! How about three? Ban still keeps the play alive with Ziff. And as a couple of shots will miss, Ban actually could still do some damage here with the knives. Yeah, gets the reset off. This would be a 1v2 now as his teammate and Ziff has fallen. And he's going to push through! Get the second kill! Denies the Trailblazer completely! Now a 1v1 with Apoth. Classic still being held, the knives connected. The but Ban will get a reset off. Out of the You're site comes me. Apoth, and that's where he falls. What a play for Ban! Oh, I was in trouble here. Seekers are actually get called. Not just to counter the offensive Seekers of Knights, but also to make sure Dogmos got some space to get back. But Knights are keeping the gas pedal down. This will force out a defensive rolling thunder. EG still in a... And start to yeah. second guess this rotation. At the very least, it certainly left Com back out of the picture. Surely but Apoth, that's a big kill to get. And that's going to get them a lot of comfort now that they have chosen correctly. <gasps> especially now that Ganks has been spotted too as well. And Sewers that spike down. down a. Oh, it's a cheeky attempt from Knights. I think you're right. Let's cut the noise. See if you can just kind of out of nowhere still hit this safe site. But you saw Apoth with Spidey Sense was tingling. And now comms on the flight. <laughs> the containment is in. Knights have nowhere to go. Frosty does what he can, but there's really not much to do. And Evil G. Nah, they just don't have any map control right now. They're still back over towards their spawn. Garage is still being posted up by Apoth. You're seeing this bait and switch it up now with Boostio and Com up close on a lobby. And yeah, like you said, the clock is ticking. They commit to A and they do get their entry. Com tries oh, no. to trigger discipline but gets checked. And he's in a lot of trouble. And that might be it. Yeah, it's tough. Evil Genius has had the perfect setup when it comes to reading that play with not a lot. Things back up. I mean, this is starting to become quite the slobber knocker.
Judge Specter 2AR setup. So this is kind of do or die. Oh, Dogmo, he's actually used his dash. He's going to need some help to get out of here and we we'll play inside with the Judge. I mean, it's a hell of a play. True. It's all he's got. Let's let's see if there's going to be an opportunity to see anybody come through. There's the first one. No, he doesn't stay inside, and Ban gets the trade with the classic. Puzzling to say the least. But Bustio has made his way on towards sight for a double. Oh, there's Bustio. Shows up when EG needs him the most. Marks nearby, and look who's holding the cross. It's Bustio in the back corner of the C side. Sees players come on the cross, plus the fault line to slow things down. And all of a sudden, Knights are a bit trapped. They have to push on through this, and the numbers for Evil Geniuses could contest. Bands on the way in. He's flashed up, but Bustio's only good for the opener. But shock him out from behind. Gets a pinch through the garage doors for a double. Last attempt for BK to get on. All falls to zip, and well, there's likely not enough time for it to do too much with it, and it'll... Mm. Actually, Spike is going to follow up to do this. Good fault line play as Frosty locks down the corner, even gets the reload off, and Knights defensively will, well, I would imagine, lock the rest of this play up as Apoth is low. Bustio's going to commit, but he's been tagged down to critical HP, and Knights just... Winning gun first. Oh, involved and nearly has a lineup, but it's Jogmo who will be able to flash backwards. And as Dio continues to poke and prod over here towards B side, keep the defense interested. Reform starting to clear out Sewer's position. Mm. As soon as they clear it, though, Ziff retakes it. It's curious if this going to be able to get anything here, but it won't matter, perhaps. It's easier just cleaning so up everywhere, and yeah, Ziff got caught. I, I love the fact that knowing that you had Scuba down first, Evil Geniuses just kind of spread the map thinking, well, okay, well, if Knights don't have the ability to lock down areas with an early alert system of a trademark, maybe we'll get a... Look at that, we already see Ban in play. <gasps> oh, Gangsta gets hit by the fault line. I was gonna be, he has to be the one to throw these flash points out to try to slow down this hit, but he isn't really able to do too much as Jogamon reinform, find the opening kill. Already rotating in is Ban with his operator, holding just one cross angle. And as he comes through, wait, he actually takes down Bustio. Aggressive peek in the mix, but oh, Jogamon quickly to the knives. How has he managed to do that? The quick hit through Garage Scuba already off the site, blocked off by a dark cover, and with that also rolling thunder was the smokes will dissipate and Frosty will be stuck in a corner, but still is good for the opener, and how about Scuba? Right back into the mix, it's Knights who go three for one, only dropping a player to comms aftershock. And Evil Genius is a bit stuck on sight at the moment in this 2v4. Oh, and, and to make matters worse, look at that, yeah. rolling thunder comes through, at least they escape with Spike back through long C. But as I say that, the aftershot's gonna push <laughs> Bustio out and... Oh, man, getting frisky. Bustio has a couple of things to worry about. How am I? Meanwhile, they pivot for a C split, but honestly, Knights are as yeah, well set up as it. they could be for this. They're yeah. trusting their read, as you said. Now it's about can they connect the frag to hold. Oh, great flash. Jogam on the opener almost gets another as he self cloud bursts at his feet. The Frosty with Scuba down, the trademarks will do nothing. So I love it'll be a angle. free plant. And that'll be an opportunity to set up a post plant deep as you try to save here. They have to, as you lose Frosty. Although Ban has committed forward. Again, he's got the off his hand. Oh, what a shot from Bustio! Instant flick over, just seeing the left elbow of Ban. And well, now Gangsta has no choice besides just trying to keep his life, and he will not be allowed to. With this mid control. But Ban, I think, might find one, and there it is. That's what I was worried about with... with a bit thin, flashpoint through, but this is a great angle, honestly, for Jogamo. We'll actually take him step a little bit further forward. Seekers will come out, but they're instantly denied. No flank play for Knights, it's all from the front doors. So his reform will be tested. Gets the reload off, wants this aggressive angle, and ooh, nearly is able to take Gangsta off guard. Still is able to find them all set and done. Oh. How about reform? Three in a row. Still not done, though. Hey, pop for maybe a 1v2, but Frosty snuck in. And it already got Ooh. closer to the spike. Start to make their way over to Frosty, who has no help. He's just playing a one-for-one -one angle. Gets the opener. Trade will not be there. So now, quickly, here come evil geniuses. You've got Scuba, who has offered at least one angle defensively on towards the site. But with the Seekers coming out, that will lead to a full clear. And evil geniuses will get the spike line it. Yeah, indeed. They're trying to spam this double stack box as well to get some damage off. But it's not really connecting. Band gets oh. caught by Jogamo at B, and that's a problem. That leaves him a man down before the retake can really even get started. Trailblazer clears out window. They're keeping pressure on Garage while still maintaining post positions on site. And I think that, that Trailblazer did see Scuba. You see where Jogamo is just kind of waiting for timing to come back around and kind of offer another clutch opportunity. But the kills are traded. Scuba would have to go what is a technical 1v3. Bustio hiding into the cubby. Jogamo spamming and it will be a third knife yeah. drop disqualifier on Haven. Yeah, absolutely. And even earlier, 
you know, last month in, in the Night Scotland. I mean, again, 10 game winning streak on Haven coming into this. Flash is what he needs. Surely has another chance. Ah, oh, Scuba misses the shot anyway. That's going to be sight taken. Bladestorm leading the way. Great paranoia. Oh my god. Ooh, so what? what? Scuba saves the life. Frosty was completely dead to rights. So maybe an opportunity. Quick flash around the corner, but Frosty gets a double! Okay, hold on a second. Defensively, EG, or pretty PK are in a pretty solid spot, but the long pinch is coming around. He saw it on the perspective. Gangsta good for the opener, but Bustio may have had the final word. This would be a 1v3 for him. It's down to him versus Ban, who has nothing but a pistol and a Bucky. But do they know? Oh, oh this is an opportunity, and it's Bustio! Tube here into B site. We're seeing Jogamo lead the way, trying to spike plant. Scuba tries to come out and punish, but Jogamo reads it and hops off. And now they're starting to collect some frags as well throughout the mix. They have Ban advantage here and a post plant. Oh, this is so good. I say Ban is completely isolated, but Gangsta, an opportunity as he collects the opening kill. Maybe do a bit more. Oh, Apoth is actually really far away from this play. Yeah, but he's but got Snake Bite for the spike. Forward. Yeah. The thing is, you've got Jogmo in a very safe position here to kind of read the play before the Snake Bites are necessarily needed. And the timing here oh, is so good. Actually, it's just the player on, but Frosty's holding. Frosty's holding. No, and then we'll eventually back off. 10 HP, nothing to go. And how about the opening set play? Yeah. We'll also make sure the Aldrin never even gets a dart off, interestingly enough. Yeah. But Knights will still collect. That's a big first blood. No more knives. A part of the equation is Drogmo will fall. And Ban Ooh. follows up as Com gets picked over through green. Yeah, this is really good kills right now from Knights to start eliminating any threat that EG might pose. Bustio trying to still make some of this is going to find Ban. That's going to put it to a four on three now. But oh, gangsta flanking. Weren't ready for that. It's all on Bustio now, pretty much, and reforms. That's gonna do it. Down B. Sure will. Actually, there's an opportunity if he plants. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, wait. Planted. You would need to get an orb and then plant. Yeah, I was gonna say, the Knight's doing... Trouble. Yeah. The Knight Even will also trouble. detect. There's the footsteps. No Whoa, way. wait a minute, he gets two! That is so good for Bustio, even still. Are you kidding? Lean! You'll take a huge economical advantage, but ban. Oh, that's beautiful. Green, they're trying to set up. Maybe some type of post plant for Apoth with some lineups. Lyria Orb goes down. You set to get Jogamo under sight here, but they just cannot get this plant to do the shock dart to Gangsta. Enemy kill. What a shot from Jogamo. Now up the vent. Oh, this is an opportunity. Shock dart will actually hit onto Frosty. Long range though, Ziff. Make sure that no antics will occur from Jogamo this round. So down to common. Scuba has the angle locked in. Gonna be in the same zip code, so Ban's gonna be free to hold this angle alongside Scuba. But all the tour is pop may not make a difference though, because Scuba from the high ground position. It's good for the opener, but that's actually largely still a win for Evil Geniuses. They come out on top of the trades and Boombot here from Ziff will get an idea if they still are looking to go here. But Unreal. knowing is only half the battle as Jogamo swings out for a huge entry, and this might be it. Timing of the long route being yeah, hit the by check Kama on the man. back. And Arez. Yeah, absolutely. Arez is in. Jogamo through the side of the cloudburst. No problems here. And yep, all, all he needs is just a pixel. He just needs to see a pixel of somebody. So As we are still seeing, EG try to test in the up. Van nice does indeed eventually figure it out. Al Jones comes in and tries to start clearing this Viper spit. Scuba is detected in this. Does get away, however. But look at the man that Jogamo trying to chase, but Ziff catches him. Yeah, this is a good play here for Ziff. Fate shells will also land, and yeah, that's the power of uh, opening point of contact again. Ban just really wants to make sure evil geniuses don't get away with too much, and so this time much better in the opening engagements. As once more, it's Jogmo to be blooded, and a huge advantage again as the top fragger for EG is off the table, and of course, one of their big follow-up initiators. So how do you structurally get into a side, I think is the question if you're EG. Well, that, that helps, I think, getting that entry, but quickly responded to there by Frosty, so still a man up is Knight. Apoch is caught out in the middle to add insult to injury, and while the spike does go down, or will it, doesn't get the chance, and is now very low on HP, trying to heal through it all, but it won't be enough. Eventually, <laughs> enough is enough. So much utility lob reforms way. Now it's all on Com here. 
Just looking for some cash. They fight deep. And well, it doesn't make a difference. Being able to use Bustio. Aldrone's really not going to see too much defensively. Knights are still giving this a four man stack. Showstopper is going to be in. As oh, soon as the spike gets toggled, but it will largely miss. The spike planted, that's job done for reform. Viper's Pit now also guarding this spike from the easy defusals, but Jogobo falling means that there's numbers and a major oh, wow. weight here for Knights, and the playthrough mid is held responsible. It has to be down to Common Apoff holding inside the Viper's Pit. Ziff on the way forward is already getting a lot of clearance. The long flanker on the back is also involved, and it'll be another flawless. Coming to the opposite side, the Frosty has. They go, oh, oh the no. timing, and that's absolutely incredible. Reform catches the entry. Now they start coming into sight, and they will get a plant. Or will they? Yes, they do, just barely. Rifle looking to hold from the front first and foremost. He has to be able to at least get one and delay a little bit extra time, but he's not going to be able to. So now all of a sudden, you need Com to start making a play forward. Snakebite will stop any defuse for now. Bustio from the high ground keeps things interesting, but we've got ourselves a 2v2. Hunter's Fury being earned. That's going to find a kill. Maybe even a second tag. Has Com done enough? Sure he has. A double with the Hunter's Fury. And another th Earth for the opening, considering that this is largely going towards B. And Jogobo, okay. Rear orb, they baited out the Hunter's Fury here from Gangsta, which is largely ineffective. I didn't really catch anything with that, just stalled the plan a bit. Paint shells come in, reformed, reformed. actually gets away this time. Finally, poor thing's been killed every time on a plant. <laughs> this time, alive to see it through. Oh, big battle through the middle of the map. Now it's a huge advantage for Evil Geniuses, and if you're Knights, Ah, this is tall ass. Yeah. Are draining Knight's economy, I'd imagine. Absolutely. Surely they're starting to get to that point. It's off here. Shock dart, snake fight, combo disrupt the plant, but rip. Yeah, everything. Yep. And an opening shot from Bustio. That is also part of it. Good reveal off the recon bolt again as well. Bustio misses the second. Falls as if will kind of recontest the high ground. Dragomo is still the furthest now post plant defender forward. Cox's screen, well, that may just do everything though. Com hits the flank once again. Gates to the last one to stand, and he's only able to tally up one. Trying to hold the corner here. Gets flushed out by shock darts and caught. Zip. They're just gonna get the frag the, the just the, the first out. Oh my, okay. What a kill. What yeah. a kill. And yeah, like you said, a res out. Then you have to spend barrier orb to get it. Very efficient use of the alt. Now a five on three, and the defense has split up. I mean, this left. is looking beautiful for EG. I mean, honestly, Knights, they have to hope Gangsta can get two here and just make the clock a huge problem. And he only gets one. So now the spike's going to get down no problem whatsoever. The flank out of Ziff is going to be watched by Apos, so that'll be the first point of contact. Doesn't win the gunfight, but again, here's knowledge for EG. 3v2 for the numbers. And the other defender in Scuba is making a play through mid. Corner peak here as Ziff is going to have to come across, and that's a beautiful gunfight win. So now the showstopper being earned. That'll be sent out. Long range! It's able to connect largely with Bustio, and Scuba's able to take the kill. So now Reform stuck on the site. Not a lot of time, and Ziff just essentially does it himself. Wow. Four kills in the round, all of it all. On the last skits, Knights forward. Opportunity to plant here, but you still have to worry about the quick retake because Evil Geniuses have a little bit of a 2-3 hit. Two up top, three down low. Ban missing the first two shots. Not sure if he wants Classic or Headhunter, and that will cost him his life. Spike also not being planted as of yet. Even kills coming out. Dragomo trying to get the re <laughs> refresh on the reload. But largely, it is EG who follow up accordingly and nowhere for Gangsta to go. Not leaving them as much for post. Yeah, there's just so much retake utility. Okay, good first blood here as Ziff is able to blast pack over to the high ground. What a shot that is from Bustio to open things up just a touch. And respond, so numbers are still good for Knights with, of course, the weapon advantage. Second knife comes out, but it does not stop Apath from getting in. And, well, ban. Okay, there we go. Good double I mean, from him. Scuba finishes off Giacomo through the top. And his snake fights to stop this plant from going down, but Ziff is going to find the entry onto Reformed, and so this... Attack is starting to make some progress. Absolutely. Trademark does stack, giving Apop an opportunity to fight back, but no, wow. it's not. Wow, pinched and very likely not going to be able to do it here. Yeah, look at Frosty. No flank play this time. Com's going to try to rotate back over. You need this utility to get here. No, oh, just a little pixel peek for Ban. Finds Jogwell, completely shuts him down. Null Command also a part to stop this retake from getting underway quickly. 
So EG will likely wait this out just a touch. We've got common position to get a recon bolt in. Across the ropes, there goes reform, nothing to find. And oh man, EG is in a lot of trouble here defensively. They popped an impressive double, and actually Com is blessed with a shock dart. And Whoa. one more, hold on, it's just Gangsta left alive. 1v1, Com up the top, will fly forward, get his third kill, and should have enough time for the defuse. Yeah, just by the hair on his chin and off of the back of that. Hunter's Fury, that's defensive. That'll flush some things in there, shock about just kind of waiting to see players peek outside of this Viper's pit. Works out nicely, and Hunter's Fury, I'll take this gun fight. Bustio here to assist. They would love to get a repurchase out of ban. Push steps away. Oh, but it's not going to work out. Ban does not get caught off guard, and actually Gangsta Pun is just being... Guarded by way of trademark, that's kind of guarding this well, look yellow at this. push. Apoth has such an open angle here, watching yeah, a lobby, yeah. and he gets a frag. And then just have so much of their own that they can just yep. easily play for a retake off of Tom's utility. Oh, maybe not because he died. Yeah, now it's an even three on three. A spike goes down. EG though are you know in position pretty quickly here to try to go for this, but again the trademarks are going to stop them from really being able to flank. They're going to have to come through under tube anyway and try to work this thing out. And they have low HP on a couple of players. Yeah, Dogmo's gotta make a play here. That's his last bit of movement utility, the updraft to get to the high ground. Lucio caught off guard. Dogmo can wow. do nothing over through yellow, and surprisingly, this is as clean as you could ever want. Yeah. Again, man, on average, wow. EG's retakes have looked sloppy on their map pick. Needs to find something. Does. Ah, oh, gets the first, gets away. Oh, and Apoth will have the Poison Cloud to keep him tucked away inside of the vents. He hasn't done this before. They may not think of no. this. Oh, this timing can be exquisite. Yeah, Bustio even does well from the front. Nowhere to go if you're gangsta. I think you realize, oh, I'm in trouble here. And Scuba is going to have to try to salvage this round. 1v3 in front of him. 35 seconds. No, some regard. Rendezvous also re earned. Oh, what a shot! Oh, the clicks. The cheat this rotation from Calm. May not have to play for a, a retake altogether. They might be able to just keep disrupting this plant. And they say Apoth's find another. I mean, Knights are committed here in yep. certain regards because they've got no mid-map. They're being completely contained as here comes the flank from Jogamo as well. You need to get these kills from the front right here if you're Knights and it's just not happening. Bustio not missing any shots as he holds the deep side of Snowman. Game. Take the pressure off a little bit. Give yourself something to work with. Especially on this map. Five of them I kind of have. And he backstab. 30 seconds left. Oh, no. Oh, he gives up his position. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, this is awkward. Ban gets one, and then the stinger in hand gets the double for him. Reformed looking for the trade. Collects. And a res. And that will, yeah, easy res. And knights are just not forward enough. They get the spike planted. Viper's pit used as your post plant kind of concealment. But EG moving quickly. Jogabo. No, oh, that's that's gonna do it. Frosty, last one left, only has a knife and a guardian to play with. He's been revealed. He needs to check the spike, and it's not going to be allowed. Evil geniuses 